The following video is dedicated to the memory of Robin Williams. Hello everyone and welcome to my review on the Disney's Flubber Mr. Reaction Talking Weibo figure released in 1997 by Kid Designs Inc. and Disney Consumer Products. So, going over the packaging, as you can see it's sort of a bluish motif for most of the box and even the insert on the inside. There's a Try Me Arrow on here, though due to age this has creased and so has this flap as well. On the top, there's the Flubber logo. There are also some pink accents, like pink, purple, and green accents to it. There's the Flubber logo. Four interchangeable screen images included. They're stored in like a little flap down there. There's a sketch of Weibo, like a little 3D render drawing of her. It's Weibo, the chatty robot that thinks it's human. I love that. There's mystery action talking Weibo, and there's like a shot of Weibo in action. The same thing from the opposite side, nothing up here. Then on the top, if I can just move it down a little, there's the Flubber logo, the 3D sketch of Weibo, Mystery Action Talking Weibo, in a little beaker shape, as seen in the movie. And then going to this side, there's the Flubber logo, and reading the bulleted list, three different ways to play, built-in talking phrases with sound effects. Voice activated movement to spin and go forward. Blinking LED lights. Opening and closing flaps. Auto power off conserves batteries. As seen in the movie with the beaker shape. Mystery action talking Weibo and the little spark again. There's the flapper logo and on the back I'm going to read the bio as usual. Mystery action talking Weibo is inspired by the wacky robot in Disney's blockbuster movie Flubber. Talking Weibo features voice-activated mystery movement with built-in phrases and sound effects. Play with Weibo in three different ways. Push button to, for random sound effects and from random phrases and sound effects from Weibo. Voice activation allows you to speak to Weibo and have the robot respond with random phrases and special sound effects. Voice activation causes Weibo to spin and move forward on its motorized wheels. Also hear random speech and sound effects from Weibo. The logo for the toy again. A sketch of Weibo. It's Weibo. There's the UPC and all the legal stuff. These are the same in the corners, so that's mainly it for the packaging. Now moving on to the figure itself. After going through three sets of new batteries, one on the third try, the first two didn't work, and cleaning the battery compartment, I finally got her to work after all the years I've had her. So her basic demo mode, as you can see, the sticker points to her mouth bar. Just press it. And she speaks, followed by random sound effects. It's Weibo. Professor, it's Weibo. Hello, Professor. Professor, it's Flubber. Good night, Professor. I'm actually going to kill my left light real quick, because whenever she speaks in her voice mode, the green light flashes. I am all ears. Professor, care to elaborate? It's Weibo, Professor. It's Flubber, Professor. So that's mainly her demo mode, and like I mentioned, she does have a voice mode. That's just only one of her two other modes, voice mode and voice motion mode. In voice mode, actually both of these modes are very similar to anything by Thinkway with interactivity. So mainly in her voice mode, just talk to Weibo or clap your hands, and she'll speak to you with her phrases and random sound effects. Then, in voice motion mode, with the help of her motorized wheels, she will rove around while her eye and her fins telescope in and out 
as she speaks with the sound effects as well. Now, I, I can't show her voice mode since I can't get to the switch. And, of course, I can't show her voice motion mode because, well, it's still in the box after all these years. So, if you want to see a video of Weibo in action with her voice motion mode, I'll throw a link to a video I found in the description below. So, that's pretty much that for the Disney's Flubber Mystery Action Talking Weibo itself, guys. Now, as for availability and where I got mine... I've had this for a while now. I found it recently when cleaning up my closet. I think I got it on eBay. Can't remember how much I got it for. Though, you can still find these on eBay today. They pop up occasionally. Though, due to the rarity of the item, it being a collector's item in the box, and with Robin Williams' recent death, the item's rarity and value has increased. So, you can find these loose and still working for maybe around the $20 to $30 range. Though, anything with the box or anything brand new will probably be 50 or higher. I did find one on eBay that was brand new and it sold for $88. Whoa. So that's pretty much that, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, wait. Before I end the video, I didn't show you guys this in the beginning, though. If you look on her screen, you actually see an image of the Flubber dancing from that memorable scene in the movie. Stay tuned for more reviews coming your way, and I'll see you guys next time. Robin Williams, you will be missed.